And if you go, the money that you, if you need any more, it will turn up because what you're doing is you're, you're telling the universe that you're worthy. Yeah. You believe you're worthy of having the experiences that make you happy. Yeah. If you keep saying, I can't afford it, I'm not worth that, I can't go. Yeah. What are you manifesting? What are you telling the universe yeah. to give you? Right? So, exactly. so go. a lot of trouble. Bank on yourself. Put some money into yourself. Yeah, like, grow yourself and get out there and meet people and do something. Right. Yeah, do something with your money and stuff. Me too. Get out, meet people, man. And then there's so many businesses and things have, have started from people just meeting each other. It's true. You, you gotta meet people before you start. Similar, whatever, and they get off and they start, you know, making yeah. businesses and YouTube channels and all types of stuff. So yeah, people fall in love and stuff. Yeah, falling in love, having babies, all Whoa. types of stuff. But, but unless you give yourself a chance, I think none of that can happen. So, you know, that's another thing is people devalue themselves so much that like they think they're less worth less than a $50 note. Right? I can't put $50 in because, you know, whatever. Right? I've got bills that might come up, like this and this, which is all the system. I'd rather support the system than myself. And also cats and dogs and rabbits, yeah. they have whiskers. Yeah. Humans haven't got antennas, but they have. I do. The hair. I'm connected to antennas. the cosmic boogaloo. And a beard can be an antenna. Oh, so the beard I, I, I think this is a technology. Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You've got um, the hair as well. I think this is a technology. I think the flu is an idea of Samson. Yep, Samson, man. Yeah. Was a man in rap making sure he got everything in rap with an antenna coming out his face to his head? Who was the truth? Who was really true? We'll never know cause of the tricks that they do. They put themselves in their own books. They beat them up to us and say that was true and that was us. We're the heroes of the world. But I said, fuck you. Goodbye, that fruit.
and also that story about the Indians in World War II, was it? Um, and they got all these really good trackers that were Native Americans. Um, the wind talkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, when they got them in the army, they cut all their hair off, and, and then these guys couldn't track anymore. They lost all their skills. Um, Interestingly, I was going to do, when I was thinking on doing Black Day, this is what I was working on, I did a bit of research and I got a really interesting conclusion, and it was concerning the theatres of war. So I've got a book in the house, which Me is uh, in the room, um, which is a road called The Road to Stalingrad, and it gives you all of the amounts of armaments, aeroplanes and tanks that the German army had in the the build-up to the Battle of Stalingrad. But when I looked on Wikipedia and asked where are all these tanks and fucking planes that were meant to have existed, they're only saying in the few thousand. But the book I've got is saying in the tens of thousands. Now, going on that, where the fuck is all our stuff? Millions of tanks were produced. Millions of fucking planes were produced in World War II. Do you know there's only two measurements existing? One of them is in a Los Angeles museum and another one's in fucking the German city. Two measurements in existence. It's hard to believe that they had all of that shit, apparently from World War II, none of it exists. It did it in the first fucking place. You get images of Dunkirk when they show you the British army left all of their shit behind and evacuated. What's the real fucking story there that they give all of their shit away, the entire... Did that even happen? I got really big reservations to whether or not they actually had the tanks and guns and shit necessary to do that. Anyway, back to this. What do you reckon he's doing there, uh, Campbell, on that picture? Oh, he's being the one I've got. Okay. I don't know, he's being a, a human megaphone. Oh my god, that's what he is. That's really what he looks like, too. I noticed they do a lot of um, yeah. mutilation in a lot of cases in indigenous peoples, which also seems to be some word. sort of technology. You know, they they tell you themselves they were not the first ones so there. Don't, don't say that. So Shit, that's pandering, man. That's political are... nonsense. They're just the one with the plants, right? Like the flora and the fauna. Is that what indigenous is? Well, they tell you they weren't the first ones there. I was seeing something that might sound heckable, but I always knew deep down in my soul yeah, that there are cities yes. in and around the North Pole. The North Pole. Show you right. Show you and right. This used to be common knowledge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What's going on with that slow boss? What's going on with that slow boss? We got no choice because the tape machine fuck. We got no choice because the tape machine fuck. Yeah, right. They try to keep you out of there. They try to keep you out of the North Pole. Because they're trying to hold on to their control. People are catching on. People are going to know. That's right, man. What's up, man? What you gonna know, Paul? What you gonna hear is this? You gonna hear some goddamn bird song, motherfucker. Yeah. They've been getting it on and on and on. That's right, King. Yeah. Everything they could from the pace of pop. They say heaven was. From up above, well, I'ma tell you something before your soul was sold. We used to carry in our bones knowledge about the North Pole. Tape machine is doing the opposite. Speeding up. Everyone says, What the fuck?
sex as close as I could get pitch wise. I don't know if it is really MB when we hit this shit back for sure. Shall yeah, see, but you know what? I thought I'd be entertaining me on this rap scene, even if nobody is his tape. I'm gonna know that the shit show was great and the plasma forms hitting the ride on the magnetic field that was activated and created by the record heads. Everybody says I'm glad I weren't dead. And I could witness this history making event. Don't even give me this. Don't even give me this. Don't even give me this. Oh, yeah.